Hello and welcome. My name is Bob Merlin and you are watching yet another Guild Wars video. Today I'm having a bit of a cold, so you'll have to excuse that. In this video I'm going to show you a jumping puzzle called the Griffin Rook Run, which is absolutely insane. It is so bloody hard. Um, I've done a lot of other jumping puzzles, both in Guild Wars 2 and in, uh, especially in Star Wars The Old Republic, where I did every single one of those datacrons. And some of those are quite nasty, but this one is just way worse. And you're going to see why. Now for starters, how do you get there? Well, it is located in Lorna's Pass, and the closest waypoint is uh, Falls Lake Waypoint. So, when you have started her, Accelerating. you start by going down into the water. In the swim south. It is rather tricky to find it. Unless you know where to, where to look. So, here we go. No idea what happened there, but oh well. So, this is the small little opening you're trying to get into, and it seems even hard to get to if you're on Masura, but it shouldn't be this hard. Anyway, you find this small little opening and you swim to the other side of this little tunnel. And now you're officially in the, the Griffin Rook Run. The uh, jumping puzzle is actually not about getting up, that's the easy part. Since you just take this little teleportation stone. Now we are on top of the whole thing. The problem is going down. Well, actually, it's not going down, nor to reach the end of this jumpy puzzle. The problem is that the chest is locked. Good and hunting. to open that, you need a bomb. Which just so happens to be a bit unstable. Uh, any normal person would be smart enough to say no to Structural integrity. To this. Compromised. We, of course, are not. What you have to do is you have to avoid every single griffin. If they touch it, even a little, it is going to explode and, uh, well, you're most likely going to die. And if you're not, well, you might just start over if you want anything out of that chest. So you have to dodge and sometimes you can just run past them. And sometimes they are more aggressive, so this is a bit of a lottery as well. Now you jump up to this pillar and then you go down. As you notice, you, I'm going getting these eggs. The blue ones are speed buffs and the red ones are giving you full health. They are much needed. Every time you see me evade, it means that I would have... Ex <laughs> the bomb would have exploded if I had not. So, yeah, you do need to evade those. Dodging is even more important than in a dungeon. Unless you're lucky. Uh, just notice here that you might need to jump a bit further to the right. I am having a few extra buffs as an elementalist here. So I am running at about 25% speed buff at the beginning. So Even without those uh, speed buffs. So. I might want to warn you that this is actually a failed attempt, but this is showing you the basic idea, and I am showing you a succeeded attempt after. You can actually just Help run out me. here if you I'm aim correctly, but it is a bit dangerous. So. And that's what happens when the griffins actually reach you if you don't dodge it. There's no reason to try to survive here, 
it's faster to just again. die as fast as possible. And uh, they are slower than <laughs> me, myself, to die. So, As you see here, you get the option to be revived. And I did fail a few times here, so this is about five minutes later. I pray to the spirits of the wild, but they rarely By answer. the way, I do recommend anyone to do this. Structural integrity. You can keep Compromised. the weapons, you don't need those either, but they don't cost anything if you die, so... Remind you that this is not the first time I do this, uh, so I have done it for hours or, I don't know, long, long time before, so... That I'm doing it rather easily this time is because I've done it so many times. And what you're going to notice is that sometimes you can uh, go past without dodging, sometimes it's um, needed to dodge. Here, for example, last time I had to dance there, and here, this time I did not, so... <laughs> and again, you might need to aim a little bit to the right, I'm not sure, I haven't tried Accelerate! class, no, without the speed boost, I get as an ele elementalist so, from the uh, achievement. About here, you're going to notice that the smoke is actually turning orange, which means about 1 minute 45 seconds has passed. And you have about 3 minutes in total, so better leg it. This is definitely a speedrun, you don't have time to stand still and try to find your way. You have to know your way. Run, Forest, run. Pain everywhere. And about here you are going to get the achievement, if this is the first time you do it. You can actually get the achievement without bringing the bomb, but you're not going to be able to open this chest, because you need to place the bomb here. Unfortunately, this chest is currently bugged as of November 12, and is currently empty. Tough luck. Anyway, that is the Griffin Rook Run jumping puzzle. The most difficult, annoying and frustrating jumping puzzle I have ever done in my life. And I went back to do it a second time because Fraps did not record any sound last time. And I also wanted to show you how to get in there. What I do for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and uh, subscribe. And I shall see you next time. <coughs>